Most people in America are concerned with the way that human beings warp relationships. They develop a relationship with someone, they spend time with that person, they invest time in going privately to their homes when other people are away, other people are gone, wives are at work or whatever, and then they pretend that they didn't have that relationship. They literally walk away because at some point they feel uncomfortable with something they produced in their own behavior. They said through their own words, they did through their own questioning, and openly it's always the difference between a boy and a girl what is felt. The truth is in America we have the right to fall in love, and the reality of American citizenship is we tend to fall in love with the people that we spend time with. Even if they are a business colleague, we can find as some sort of a camaraderie-oriented love. Even if there's some sort of girl that we just met through church, we can find some sort of Christian-oriented agape love. But the bottom line is that when we fall in love and when we fall hard, and it's something that God has proven to us a hundred times, ten thousand times, that that's the one we're supposed to love, there is nothing more engaging and nothing more raging than a girl who runs away and lies about her love. The reality is that women often abuse and use men in ways that is immoral. Many, many women talk about being Christians, but they, they are failing in the becoming a Proverbs 31 woman. Openly, we have moved our society much further along to the point that a lot of women are becoming to get a lot of notoriety, but the problem we have in America is not what they do and what they say all the time. It's what they do and what they say behind their backs all the time. You see, you can't play both sides of a person and expect to have a righteous indignation at the end of your relationship that you chose to exit from. You're the one who invested time, you're the one who invested space, you're the one who invested in embrace, and then you just thought you'd say, oh, I did nothing wrong. That is a childish behavior, it is an immoral reaction, and I can promise you that with the COVID of ravaging the earth and ravaging the plains and ravaging the world, the Lord above is not pleased. So when I talk like this, people think I'm talking about rhetoric, I'm not. This is Biblical Principle 101, and I don't know why you don't get this. Throughout the entire Bible times, there were wars. Throughout the entire Bible times, there was epidemics. Even with my community that I live in, I'm looking at what the fuck are all these crickets doing all over this particular area. And what I realized is we got a pet store, and they're probably selling crickets, and they probably got loose. And now they're proliferating through our communities. But could that not be considered a part of the epidemic or a part of the plague that is upon us? You see, in life we have to register what is and isn't real, and when people try to say what he thinks isn't real, they're full of shit. You are not that person, you are not that person's love, you are not that person's anything anymore is not true. What you did was create a relationship that was far deeper in the soul than you thought or wanted to admit, and then you thought you'd rip it from that person's soul. And when you did that, you harmed a life. But what you did worse than that, instead of being a mature person to talk about it in the way that any good friendship would do, you decided to involve all these other people in hatred and destroy a life, and that's what you do.